Hey there, to everyone watching this video, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. I have started working on uh, something like an RL tool for MATLAB, if you're familiar with that. It's basically a tool that allows uh, control system engineers to design um, regulators for uh, single input, single output systems. And it uses uh, what is called a root locus design method to assist. And I think it's really cool and I've been missing this functionality in Octave, so I just decide, decided to implement it. And right now I made this discovery that tells me that this is absolutely plausible and I can, I, I can in fact do that. So that's why I made this quick announcement in case you were wondering if it's coming or in case you wanted to start working on it. Um, then I just wanted to tell you that I already have. So what you're looking at here is a sinusoidal waveform. There are some issues with this, but that is mostly due to the fact that the sampling frequency of... Oh wait, I, I haven't really explained what, <laughs> what this is. Well, basically, I'm just generating some data from Octave, and I'm sending them into Java, and I'm reading them in Java, and I'm displaying it, right? So, um, basically, um, how to put it? Well... Uh, Basically, I was w worried that the bottleneck will be the communication between Java and Octave. I was wondering, uh, I was worried that this will be really slow, and therefore I won't be able to actually program uh, the the tool because I, I won't be able to physically stream the data. And I, I made some tests before, and they showed me that I can actually do the calculations inside Octave quickly enough. And yeah, but it, it doesn't seem like. Uh, the, the rate at which I can send the data is a problem. I made a simple test. I'm generating a sinusoidal waveform, which is just doing this. It's basically changing in amplitude. It's amplitude modula modulated, as you can see on this really simple code. And I'm writing it into a file, which is a really special file. It's basically a just named pipe. And yeah, you can see the sinusoidal waveform here. And of course, it's not perfect because. Uh, I have some interference between the frequency at which this sine, sine wave is generated and uh, the frequency is being read and also uh, the camera adds some flicker to it as well. But yeah, I mean, it, right now it's running at like 60 frames per second, I think. Oh, actually it's more. It's 80, it's, it's 90 frames per second, which I think that's kind of cool. The target is 150 and yeah, I'm I'm running it at like actually I'm not sure. Hold on a second, I'll just here we go. Um, it's a bit. Yeah, I'm running it at about ninety. I would say that's like a solid ninety. Yeah, that's this this sine wave has like hundred points. So I'm basically just reading hundred points, uh, hundred times per second, which I think is great because. <clears throat> For the final product, I will just need like 20 points or something like this, 20 times a second. So I have a, and of course I have a huge overhead because I'm actually drawing those points on screen and uh, and I'm moving them around and stuff like that. So yeah, it's 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 definitely, and also I'm using processing. I'm not even using like a regular Java, so I'm not sure how optimal that is. But like, yeah, I mean, that that shows me that it's definitely doable. So thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, bye. <laughs>